and won us on that battlefield. I thank him for keeping his hand up on us in many times. Down through life we didn't deserve it, but ain't you glad that he's a merciful God? He said he would be there in the time of trouble and he would keep us and go all the way, even until the end of the world. And I'm glad to know, Brother Jerry, that we serve an on time God. He's right there in the midst of all of our troubles. And he said he would be a very present help in the time of trouble. If we'd only learn to learn to believe in his word and trust him, he'll go there and he'll make a way. He's done went on and prepared a way for his people. I'm glad for what I feel. We got time, Brother Jerry. We have got to get excited about what we got in Jesus. If you ain't excited about what he's put in your spirit, you better come back and start over again. Because Brother Jerry, when he saved me and filled me with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he gave me something to be excited about. He gave me a reason to want to stand. Y'all pray and get in. Let the Lord bless you today.
lift your hand up to heaven, will you please? Give him honor. And I know I do this all the time, but we should praise him because we love him and what he's done for our lives. Come on. I, I don't hear you. Come on. If you're in a ball game or somewhere, you'd be holding your head off. Hallelujah. But the Lord said he is worthy to be praised tonight. Hallelujah. And the Bible declares that there's no other God like him. Come on, somebody. Uh, he, he's not a fly by night God, but the mighty. He's not just the one amen, that comes by one time and touches you, never touch you again. But he's the same yesterday. Can you shout amen, somebody? The same yesterday, today, and forever. And he changes not. Amen. I would not serve a God that changed every time the wind blows. Say amen. I'm going to tell you something. I don't back nobody that changed every time the wind blows. Amen, brother. Say amen. The Bible said we must remain the same. Trust God. And draw nigh to God. Draw nigh to Him. Amen. Make your mind up. If you're going to trust God no matter what's coming your way. And that's what the Lord has been putting in my spirit lately. That we got to trust Him. I'm being tried on this stuff. I don't know about anybody else. But then everything we pray. I'm being tried on it. Say amen, somebody. Now somebody said, well, why are you doing that? I don't know. You ask him. Say amen, somebody. Uh, all I know is, Stephanie, I'm going to hold on to him anyway. I know beyond, me, beyond him, there's no, nothing else to worship. There's nothing else to go to. And, and I, I, want, I want them to sing that song tonight because of what I'm going to preach. And uh, but I'm glad when mercy walked in. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'll be somebody to raise your hand to heaven and say, mercy came by my Mercy stepped in when nothing else would help. Come on, somebody. When Jesus walks by your way, listen, everything's going to change around us. Say amen, somebody. Our atmosphere will change. Our attitude will change. Come on. Has God not changed our lives? Somebody talk to me. Has God not made a way? Melissa, I know you and Stephanie and Mike and the family. God's made a way for you. Say amen, somebody. And this is what I'm talking about. A promise of deliverance. Say amen, somebody. Come on, I want to preach this for a few minutes. God promised us I will deliver you in the time of trouble. Come on, shout amen. And I know I know for a fact to tell you tonight, and I know that devil's raging everywhere, but I do know one thing. If I hold on to God, all up behind if I, hallelujah, if I keep pressing in towards God, Brother Paul, God's going to make a way for my life. Hallelujah. And he said there's a promise of deliverance. Now, God does not promise us something and never delivers. Come on. Come on. He will not promise you I will make a way for you and never make a way. Say amen, somebody. And I know the night that I feel God. Hallelujah. Slip your hand up to heaven and say, God, you're making a way for me. And you and I have to hold on to the promises of God. And I, I believe this tonight because the Bible tells us. And let's, let's go to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And we'll start in verse number 15. And it says this. And he said to hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, and thou Jehoshaphat. Now he singled the guy out. He wasn't just calling on everybody, but Michael, he singled him out. Have me know sometimes you get singled out. Come on, church. Brother Rudolph, sometimes we get singled out, and that devil bombards us with all kinds of hell. Can I get a witness? Say that somebody. We get bombarded with pressure and sickness and trouble in our life. But you know what, Brother Paul? God said, I will make a way for you. Come on. You're not hearing me. Say that somebody. Look around. Tell three people he will make a way for you. Come on. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, tell them this. He is making a way. Come on, church. I hold up I saw you. I said he is making a way. Come on, church. Every time I look around, I see God making ways out of no ways. Come on, somebody. And somebody said, well, you're just going through hell. Yeah, you got that one right. Say amen, somebody. I'm going through hell, but I'm coming out, Amanda. So forth the behind. Say amen, somebody. I've made my mind up. Now listen, he said, and Jehoshaphat, he said, thus saith the Lord unto you, be not afraid. Yeah. Come on, church. Now, you can't fear what's coming upon the land. You cannot fear the destruction. And we're seeing all this stuff. I don't have to preach it. I'm going to anyway. We see all the destruction. We see everything. Brother Mike that's coming upon the land. Now, somebody said, well, I just want to quit. Well, you're not really a child of God then. That's going to go good. Say amen, somebody. When a child of God fights, a child, hallelujah, a child of God stands when he don't feel like standing. How many times, Stephanie, have you stood when you did not feel like standing? Come on, church. How many times have I feel God? How many times have we stood and we couldn't feel God? We couldn't feel Him in our prayers. We couldn't feel it when we praise God. But you know what? There was something down. Hallelujah. They pulled up a higher. There was something on the inside. 
Come on, church. There was something in us, Brother Mike, that said if you hold on. Come on, church. If you hold on, I will move for you in the time of trouble. Why don't you turn and tell your neighbor, if you hold on just a little bit longer. Come on, somebody. My wife sings it. Michael sings it. Listen, I have to hold on just a little bit. Hallelujah. Just a little bit longer. God's going to come to my rescue. Now, he said, be not, be not afraid, nor dismay. Now, afraid means feeling fear, regret, or unhappiness. Now, you've got to make up your mind. I have to make up my mind that no matter what I feel, it's not what the flesh is feeling. It's what's going on on the inside. Come on, shout it now. I, I, don't, I don't feel fear or regret or unhappiness. Anytime God is not moved from me when I want him to. Come on, church. You, you're quiet, but that's the truth anyway. How many times have we asked God to move and he didn't show up when we give an ultimatum? Say amen, somebody. Come on. You better move in a hurry. Say amen, somebody. But you know what? In that time, you say what you want to. In that time, listen, when doubt's coming our way, but you know what happened? We don't hear from him that much. I'm preaching, saying that somebody. But we, he said, if you'll praise me, come on, come on, if you'll honor me and you'll thank me for what I'm doing, come on, sir. I dare to raise your hand to heaven and say, I may not feel like it, but I'm going to praise God anyway. Hallelujah. I may not shout all the time, but somehow or another, I pull up higher. I see God moving. Come on, sir. Oh, we somebody help me. Come on. Now, listen, it's not just a song that does it. Say amen somebody. I love good singing. You know I do. But you know what? When I can't feel the shout, when I can't feel a song, hallelujah, hold up behind you. I want to know that there's something. Come on, church. On the inside, let me somebody help me. Come on. It's the word of God that's strengthening you and I. Hallelujah. But he said, listen, be not afraid. Now watch this. And, and, and nor be dismayed, which means surprised or, or disappointed or alarmed. We should not get a disappointed or be alarmed at the things that are coming up on the land. Somebody said, why? Because we got a stupid government. Say amen, somebody. Come on, don't you get mad at me. Say amen, somebody. They tell you they'll move for you. They'll pro provide for you. They'll give you what you have need of. But they'll cut your throat in the meantime. Come on, shut him in, somebody. But Brother Rudolph, have we not learned to depend on Jesus? Come on, somebody. Somebody help me. Come on. Have we not read the Bible? Have you read the Bible lately? What? It did not, you know what the Bible said. He said, I'm moving for you. I'm making a way for you. And you know what? My, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about what my problem. Sister Barbara, my problem is I hear another voice that says, God, for you. Come on. Hallelujah. Anybody heard that voice lately? Say that somebody. He says you're going to die. And guess what I turn around and say? I'm going to live and not die. Come on. That does not mean you'll never die in the flesh. Some of us may go in the way of the grave. Some of us may not. Say that. Hallelujah. But you know what? Either way, I'm a winner. Say that. I may go through hell, but I'm a winner anyway. Hallelujah. Say this. May come against my body, but I'm a, you're not helping me. But I'm a, that enemy. Now, multitudes, not two or three devils. Come on. Come on. Can I preach this? Not one devil, two devils, a step, but a whole bunch of them. Say amen, somebody. When I see a whole bunch of them, you know what I say? It's a cubby of them. Say amen, somebody. Shut it, man, church. But you know what? What did he say? He said, be not dismayed. Don't be afraid. By reason of this great multitude. You know you're going to have trouble. Come on, somebody. Turn around and tell them you knew this was coming. Say amen, somebody. Are you hearing me? You knew this was coming. You're not dumb. Say amen, somebody. Turn around and tell somebody. I ain't dumb. Say amen, somebody. How do you know it's coming? Because when you get right with God, hallelujah, when you get born again, all hell is going to come at you. Say amen, somebody. He's going to fight you. He's going to tell you you're not right. Hallelujah. He's going to tell us, Michael, that if you're not, you're not right. You just think you are. Then when we get the Holy Ghost, he said that what you talking in tongues. You know what I tell him? Hallelujah. I say, no, I know it what me. It's Holy Ghost talking out of me. Come on, come in, somebody. I'm glad, Melissa, that God gives us the truth. Now, now listen. Now, the rest of the part said, for the battle is not yours. God, I wish somebody grab hold of this. The battle, turn around and tell somebody, quit fighting it yourself. I wish somebody to look at me and tell me, quit fighting it yourself. Say amen, somebody. You know what? But we're still human. We're flesh. 
Yeah. Listen, to me, flesh, flesh is futile. Flesh goes, it, it's an enemy. Say amen, sir. Yeah. Didn't he say the flesh was enmity against God? Yes, say amen. Yeah. But he said the battle's not yours, but it's God's battle. Amen. Come on, church. The yeah. battle is not yours. Now, somebody said, well, what does that mean? It means a, a battle is a fight or a struggle. Uh -huh. Anybody there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. Every day, I don't care how big a preacher they are, pastor, oh, evangelist, God. say amen, somebody. God. What we're doing for God, musicians, God. singers, say yeah. amen, God. prayer warriors, amen. come on, somebody. God. No matter what we do, the devil's going to try to stop every one of us. Yeah. I will tell you something right now. Your anointing is just as strong and powerful as any preacher in the United States yeah. of America. Yeah. Shout yeah. amen, somebody. Quit thinking little of yourself. Say amen, somebody. Quit acting like you can't preach. You can't do it. I said this for a long time. I can't preach. And somebody said, well, how come God called you then? I thought, man, that hit hard. Say amen, somebody. But it's the truth. If God called you, listen, he don't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Come on, you want to raise your hand to God? Say, that's me now. What up, Ahaya? Say amen. Now listen, in verse 17, he said, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Uh -huh. But we want to. Uh -huh. Say yeah. amen. Uh -huh. You ever want to retaliate? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Say, Lord, turn your head. I'm going to slap some heads right quick. Uh -huh. Say amen. Uh -huh. That went over good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You've been there, Melissa. Praise God. Say amen, somebody. Uh -huh. Listen. But you, she's a man. Uh -huh. Say amen, somebody. But listen, the battle's not yours. But he said, set yourself. God, hear this. Set yourself. Means to put in a particular position or fixed. It don't mean to give up and sit there and die in it. Come on, I'm preaching to somebody. That does not mean to have a pity party. God, I've had many of them. Say amen, somebody. Anybody else going to help me? Say amen, somebody. We've all had pity parties. We've cried and moaned and groaned. But you know what? Hallelujah. To put in a particular position or fixed. David said in Psalm 108, he said, oh God, my heart is fixed. Hallelujah. My heart is fixed upon him. My heart is fixed because one day he came into my heart and washed my sins. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm not what I used to be and I'm not what I'm going to be. Somebody praise God. Lift your hand to heaven and shout, I'm with you. Hallelujah. Now listen. He said, you don't need to fight this battle. Set yourselves. All right. And, and stand still. Hardest thing for Pentecostal Jesus oh, yeah. name people to do is to stand still. Or to wait. Yeah. I'm impatient. Amen. Anybody with me? Amen. I'm impatient. I want God to hurry up. Yeah. But sometimes he don't hurry up. Amen. Sometimes he don't say nothing. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Just because he don't say nothing does not mean he ain't there. Amen. Come on. Just because he don't show up every time we call on him. But I'm like that does not mean he's abandoned us. I feel God. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But now listen. He said the stand still. Stand means to face or encounter. You gotta face your enemies. Yeah. Right. Say amen. Right. And I'll go further. You gotta face your fears. Yeah. Being on the road all the time. Hell, listen to me. Uh, our brother back here, listen, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. He might evangelize. You, you're gonna face obstacles. Now, that, that's not discount the pastor. Say amen, somebody. But Brother Rudolph, I realized something. That God, if God's called us, he's going to make a way. Yeah. Woo, shout amen, somebody. But now listen, he says, stand, face or encounter, face your enemies, face your fears. Say that somebody. Make your mind up. You're going to have fear and everything's going to come at you. Again, the devil's going to tell you, you might as well quit. You might as well go back to what you was in. Uh -uh. And you know what I told the devil, Sister Angel? I said, I'm not going back to Egypt. My God Almighty, come on, be somebody to praise I'm not going back to Egypt and I'm not eating garlic and cucumbers. Say that, somebody. I'm going to praise my God. Come on, somebody. I'm going to shout my way out. I'm going to dance my way out. I wish somebody help me. Come on. I'm going to sing my way out. I'm going to stay in the Word and come out of trouble. Hallelujah. Now listen. Stand still. Motionless. Or still be motionless. Stillness. Remaining in place. 
that that does not mean go somewhere and sit down in the corner and suck your thumb. Say amen, somebody. Amen. That does not mean just quit going to church. Paul said, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high call of God that's in Christ Jesus. Turn around and tell somebody, push, honey, push. Press on in. Push your way. I, listen, I've got to do that. Say amen, somebody. All of us have to push and press. Now listen, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. He said, with you. Turn around and tell somebody, with you. It does, it does not mean without you. It says with you. Say amen. Salvation is always there. He didn't come just, hallelujah. He don't just come one time. It stays there. Say amen, somebody. It remains in us. Whether you believe this or not, it don't come and leave. It remains. Hallelujah. Say amen. It causes you to live right. Salvation will cause you to change your language. It'll cause you to stand. Where you, hallelujah. When you did not feel like standing, it'll cause you to rise up in the midst of your enemies and say, I know in whom I have believed. And I know God. Hallelujah. Turn around and tell somebody, I know God will keep that. But I committed unto him against that. Hallelujah. Now listen, stand still and see the salvation. Now, the word salvation uh, is what the dictionary said protection or protecting from harm, loss, or destruction. But I believe that salvation means deliverance. Say amen. Did God not deliver us? Uh, not just one time, Michael. Not just one time. He does it a lot of times. Say amen. He just don't deliver you one time. He says, hey, I see you're having trouble. I will come by and deliver you again. Come on, shout amen. But you got to want deliverance. we got to want deliverance from things that try to bind us down. Now listen. Then he said, see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Here's again, fear not. God, God, again, fear not, be not dismayed. Why would God say that again? Because we ain't heard the first time yet. Man told me one time I preached up in West Virginia, or uh, yeah, was, and the guy told me said, "I heard you preach that message before." He said, "Why did you do that?" I said, "Because you didn't hear it the first time." Say this I don't mind preaching something twice if God moves on me. Say that somebody, but you gotta hear what the Spirit. Is saying to the church. Now the church is the focal point. Well, Brother Rudolph and I, we, we preach a lot of churches. He's busy, we're both busy. Say amen, somebody. And we're glad of it. Say amen, somebody. Give us a cheer. Say amen, somebody. We're glad God's keeping us going. God's keeping Paul going. Mike and Michael, say amen, somebody. He's keeping all of us going. Turn around and tell somebody, I'm in the mix. Say amen, somebody. God knows exactly what you have need of. Now watch this. He said, fear not. Uh, a a discerning or an emotion, danger, evil, or pain. Now we're suffering pain. Come on. Anybody suffering pain? Because of somebody's big mouth and long tongue. Say that somebody. Shoddy man. Somebody said, they're talking about me again. I said, well, they're letting Paul rest. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. Shout amen. Listen, sure, we should not get upset because people talk about us. We should be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I say, how can we be happy? They're persecuting me again. Say amen, somebody. But we don't do that. We go, <laughs> they're talking about me again. I'm not going back to church. Don't be a hypocrite. Well, that would be good. Say amen, somebody. They may run us down. They may talk about us like a dog. Say amen, somebody. They may say, God ain't moving for you. But they're not looking where we're looking. Out of the storehouse of God. God said, I've got a blessing coming. Come on, somebody. I'll work miracles for you. I'll heal your body when you're sick. Come on, church. I'll make a way for you. Oh, yeah, we'll keep saying this. I'll make a way into when you're depressed. I'll make a way when you're down. I'll pick you up. Hallelujah. I'll set your feet on the rock. Let me stop my shell. Come on, somebody. I'll pick you up. I'll set your feet on the rock. And I will establish your goings. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Now, fear not. Yeah. Not means denial, refusal. Right. Quit denying God to move forward. Right. Well, I don't do that. Yeah, you do. Come on. I've done it. Yeah. There ain't no curtain up here. There ain't no guy in a phone book confessing to him. Say amen, somebody. It's going to cost you 50 bucks either. Say amen, somebody. Well, inflation's probably going up. Say amen, somebody. But anyhow, you can go to God. Yeah. Listen, he said confess your faults one to another. Yeah. Ain't too many others you can confess to. Say amen, somebody. They'll make that thing 40 times bigger this time it come back around. Say amen, somebody. But you know what? I want to call on God. Yeah. You know, I can talk to him. He don't tell nobody nothing. Amen. Somebody said, Lord told me things about different people. I thought, no, you just heard a gossiper. Come on. Come on. Well, that went good. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. No, God don't tell you. Amen, gossip. Because he don't. Well, you can quiet now. Say amen. Jesus don't gossip. He tells the truth. Shout amen, somebody. He don't own a telephone. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. He don't own a cell phone. Come on. He don't have. Listen, somebody said, I wish God would email me. Forget it. He don't have no email address. Say amen. Come on. Shout amen, somebody. Hold up a higher. He don't have that stuff. But he's got an all seeing eye. He said, I, it goes to and fro. Like God watching and looking. Come on, somebody. He knows every devil about you, Stephanie. He knows every battle comes at you, Amanda. Hold up a higher. Michael, he knows everything about I wish somebody help me. Come on, church. He knows everything about it. He knows every need we have. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, that verse 12, he said, For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither, sounds like the church today, neither know we what to do. But our eyes are upon thee. Yeah. Woo, somebody yeah. shout amen. You have to keep your eyes upon Jesus. You've got to keep praying to him. You've got to call upon him. If the doctor tells you you've got a bad disease, you've got six months to live, you're to say, hey, I'm getting a second opinion. Hallelujah. That does not mean a natural doctor. You're going to go the one who said, I'm the Lord thy God. Come on, somebody. That healer thing. Now, I'm not against doctors. You know I'm not. I'm not against them. They can do what they can, but I don't trust them. Amen. That's me. You can trust what you want to. I, I, I said against that. But listen, here he said this. He said, neither know we what to do. How many times, Sister Barbara, have we gotten a situation, talking about all of us now, that Brother Rudolph, we didn't know what to do. We didn't know where to turn. We really did, but we made a statement. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what to do. I said that before. I said, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? She says, we're going to trust God. Come on, somebody. Now listen. But he said, what, what, what to do? He said, but our eyes are upon thee. Now listen. Now, he's the God that delivers. Yeah. That's who I'm preaching about. Jesus is our deliverer. Amen. Now listen, do not let the battle steal your praise. Right. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I said, don't let your battle steal your praise. Amen. I may be going through hell, but I still got to praise. Yeah. I may be sick in my body, oh, but I still got to praise. My money may run out, but I still got to praise. My car may tear up, but I still call God. Hallelujah. I still got to praise. Everybody may turn on me. I'll be somebody help me. Raise both hands and say, but I still got to praise on the inside. Hallelujah. Verses 20 through 22. And they rose early in the morning. And went forth into the wilderness of Tekel. And as they went, now listen, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe, listen, believe in the Lord your God, and so shall you be established. There's something about believing God. Not just for money, not just for house and land, but for peace of mind. Say amen. The pressures of life. How many times did you need the peace of mind, Stephanie? All of us. Say amen, somebody. How many times have we needed peace that surpasses all understanding? All understanding. I don't know about 
you, but we still need that peace. Yeah. Raise your hand to heaven as I need the peace of God around me. Now listen, he said, believe in the Lord God. Believe means have confidence or faith in the truth. Stand for truth. If you lose friends, stand for truth. If your family walks off, stand for truth. If, you, if, your, if your spouse is run off, say amen. If your cousins run off and the nephews and aunts and uncles, stand for truth anyway. Say amen. So listen, we got people right now, didn't I do? Because we stand for truth, they have no more to do with us. Say amen. It's a funny thing to me. They get in trouble. The phone rings. Ah, oh, pray for me. I'm dying. Say amen, somebody. You want, to, you want to say this, but you don't. Yeah. Hope you die, you rat. Say amen, somebody. Come on. I think I was kidding. Say amen, somebody. But we don't do that. The church don't do that. We say, we'll sure pray for you. Say amen, somebody. And not just words, but we do. Come on. Don't, don't get mad at me. Say amen, somebody. Listen, that's what the flesh wants to do. Right. But you've got to understand that the Lord ain't been hears and answers prayer. Uh -huh. They may persecute you, but you do not retaliate. Amen. I'm a preacher right here. Say amen, somebody. Right, the time of retaliation is gone. Say that, somebody. The church don't retaliate. The church does not. Come on. The church don't do that. We do not use the pulpit. Amen. To get back at somebody. Oh, God. The pulpit is to tell somebody there's a way out of trouble. Come on, somebody. There's a way through the trouble. You do that. Say amen. We tell people there's a way out of trouble. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Well, listen. We're, we're, we're not going to be vindictive. Say amen. You know, if you got people against you. Come on. I've seen people, and I've said before, I ain't going to talk to them no more. Say amen. Come, Come on, you holy rollers. Come on. Yeah. Say amen, somebody. We've all been there. I ain't talking that, I ain't talking that guy no more. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. But you get around them, next thing you know, you're hugging her neck. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. Listen, that's called brotherly love. Say amen, somebody. Listen, but you've got to understand, if we're going to believe God and get God to move for us, if he's going to establish us and he's going to prosper us, then we've got to make up our mind. We have to love one another. Amen. Say amen. Somebody said, well, Brother, uh, Brother Hayes, John said years ago, he told somebody, he, nah, yeah, I know Brother Hayes, and he said, he said, I, I, I don't hate them, I ain't fooling with them. Come on. Come on, It's plain as that wall. Say amen, somebody. Right. Well, I ain't saying that to nobody. Say amen, somebody. But you know what? Listen, you've got to understand, if you're going to get established, which means right. to bring in the firm or steady base, yeah. right. if you're going to stand on the truth, you've got to make up your mind. God's going to establish me. Say amen, somebody. He's going to bring me, put me on a firm foundation. A state. Why? Because people are watching us. They're watching the pastors, the evangelists. Say amen, somebody. They're watching how we talk, how we react. Say amen. Somebody said, they don't know what I'm about. Sure they do. You walk in church or Walmart. Come on, that's true. Amen. Amen. Oh, if I'll keep and cry for 15 minutes. Say amen, somebody. Come on. Well, this is going real good. Say amen, somebody. But now you got to understand, they know when you're in a battle. Because we let it show. Say amen. I God, we should be the happiest people on the face of this earth. Say amen. Come on, somebody. Listen to me. Now watch it. He says, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets and so shall you prosper. I mean, let's get being prospered. Amen. Say amen. I got a miracle this morning. Thank you, Lord. I really did. I woke up. Yeah. Then I got another one I can see. Come on, somebody. Brother Cisco, I, I can beat myself. Come on, somebody help me. I can put my own clothes on. Come on, shout amen, somebody. I can think right. My mind's working good. Come on, shout amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm telling you something. We're a blessed people. Let me somebody help me. I said, you know how, you don't, 
Do you know when a politician lied? And nobody said nothing. I said, when the lips are moving. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know she didn't call me back to preach no more for me. Come on. That's all right. And I said, Linda, I wonder what happened. She said, don't you remember? <laughs> Say amen. Uh, they remind us, don't they? Say, Say amen. Yeah. And I said, what? What, what did you say this last time he's down? And I said, I don't remember. She, that, that's your problem. Say amen, somebody. Uh, say amen, church. She said what you said about politicians when they're lying, when their lips are moving. Did you not know there's someone running for office? I said, no, but I do now. <laughs> Shut him down, somebody. <laughs> he said, he's a Christian. He's got the Holy Ghost. Uh, I don't know why they got mad at me. Lord, my I'm a nice guy. Say amen, somebody. Uh, say amen, church. But anyhow, now listen. But I want, I, want, I want God to prosper us. All of us. Amen. Now, and when, when he had consulted, now listen, talking about the man of God, which I'll say, when he, when he had consulted with the people, he anointed singers, listen, appointed singers, unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness. We shouldn't walk around look like we've been baptized in lemon juice. Amen. Say amen. Come on. Listen, we're, we, we've got something. The reason people persecute homeless people, they want what we got. Listen, but you cannot let them stop you. And he said that they should praise the beauty of holiness. I believe in holiness. I didn't say a whole mess. I said holiness. Say amen, somebody. Living right, talking right, dressing white. Say amen, somebody. Jumping right, landing right, oh, yeah. and having the right partner to dance with. Say yeah. this, yeah. which means the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. now, now, listen, as as they went out before the enemy, the army, and he said, "Praise the Lord for His mercy endures forever." Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on yeah. it ain't that late. Somebody yeah. praise God with me. Right. Praise the Lord for His mercy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Endures forever. And they can raise your ass and God's had mercy on me. Huh? God, he's had told a lie. He's had mercy on us. Feel God. How many times have we needed mercy in our life? Come on, somebody. Mercy. The song writer said mercy rewrote my life. I feel God. He rewrote your life. He was a sinner, but now you're a child of God. Say amen, somebody. you got to feel the Holy Ghost. God changes your life. Listen, if God ain't changing things in your life, you better pray till you pray through with it. Mercy means something that gives as evidence or divine favor or blessing. We need mercy. Come on. We ask God for mercy, but we don't give nobody else no mercy. Say amen. Praise the Lord. Let me get a cold wave on that one. It's getting hot up here. Say amen, somebody. Listen, show mercy. If you want mercy, show mercy. Say amen. The Bible said to be a friend, you you got to you gotta show it to be friendly. Say amen, somebody. Yeah, I'm, a friend. I'm, I'm your friend as long as you do what I tell you. Come on. And tell what people say. We know people right now, Brother Paul. Well, I'm your friend as long as you do them out right. Say amen, somebody. Well, I said, guess what? Probably ain't gonna be your friend long. <laughs> Say amen, somebody. Yeah. I'm not going to rest. Say amen, somebody. Yeah. I'm gonna stand on the word of God. Yeah. I said, I'm gonna stand on the word of God. Yeah. Hold up, yeah. I yeah. I'm gonna believe it till my dying breath. Shout amen, somebody. Yeah. Brother Rudolph, I'm gonna preach it. If it higher lips ever, devil and raven. Yeah. My God in Richlands. Hold up, Ohio. And all the parts of Virginia, Tennessee, and the 51 states. Say amen, somebody. Raise your hand to heaven. The truth shall set you free. Mercy. Endure. Which means endure means to continue to last. You've got to hold out. I'm going to say this. There ain't too many Holy Ghost filled people left. They too many people still in this wholeness and, and live right. Say amen. Brother R.A. West said he's the only person he ever seen go to the beach with a top with a suit and tie on. Walk down the beach. People look at him look like he's stupid. Say amen, sir. Better stripping off. Say, say Paul. Say amen, sir. Listen to me. But now watch this. Endure to continue to last. To remain firm under 
your suffering. Yeah. You're quiet now. To remain un firm under suffering. Yeah. Suffering battles. Suffering sickness. Yeah. There's not a disease. There's not a sickness that's been on this earth. Yeah. That there's not a strap on the back of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. That Jesus cannot heal. Say amen, somebody. I believe on the back of Jesus. There was one when he come up and said healing for COVID. Shout amen, somebody. Healing for bird flu. Come on, somebody. Now they're saying out west that the bird flu is taking over again. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. Bird flu may come, but Jesus has always been here. Let me see my helmet. Polio came, but God healed anyway. Come on, church. Cancer's running rampant, but he's still a healer. You're not helping me. My God, disease and all kinds of pressures of hell, but God said, I'm the Lord thy God that he, you're not helping me. Come on, church. He's the God of your life. He, he sends mercy every day. This is scripture. And when they begin to sing, this when they begin to sing in praise. The Lord set ambushments against the children of Moab or Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir which were come against Judah and they were smitten. That was in the natural. What can God do for you in the spiritual? That did decide you. Say amen, so. What can God do for you? I'll tell you what He's already done. He gave you power over all the power of the enemy. I'm glad I got the Holy Ghost. We'll show up behind you. Turn around and tell somebody. Take it with a hand. I'm glad I got the Holy Ghost. I got the Holy Ghost. And he's got me. Help me somebody. Help me. Hallelujah. He gave me power. Over all the power of the enemy. He said, I'm the Lord that I got the heal of thee. I'm the God that will come to you in the midnight hour. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Are you hearing me somebody? He'll come right in the middle of your desert. Hallelujah. You'll come right in the middle of your deliver and say, I will make you whole again. Oh God. Put your hands up to heaven. Lift your hands on this building. Give him the best praise you can give him right now. Hallelujah. Oh, la ba ka sa ta ba Give him praise and say, Lord, your mercy endures forever. Come on, church. Your mercy is extending. One songwriter said, he still extends mercy today. Oh, shout amen, somebody. Oh, listen, the girls and Michael sung that song a while ago. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Oh, listen to me. I stood before the judge. Come on, somebody. Oh, listen, he came my way. Come on, church. Hold up higher, and he's going to move. Somebody praise God in the hold up higher in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody praise him. Michael, give me a song, please. Hallelujah. Somebody honor God right now. He said, I'm the Lord thy God that moves for thee. Does anybody need God to move for him? Wave your hand and up higher and say, Lord, I need you to move for me. I need you to touch me. I need you to heal my body. Come on, church. Hold up higher. Come on, lift them hands up. And talk to him right now. In the name of the Lord. Somebody praise him. In the name of Jesus. Everybody stand up praising God, please. He'll see in a minute. Everybody stand up praising God. Wave them hands to him right now. I want you to make your way around this altar. Please come up here praising God. Don't kneel. Just come praising him.